Ruth Sterling, 214 Washington Street, King. Um, it just occurred to me, listening to the passionate um, discussion of the pumpkin project, that it seems to get the most attention from the general public, that people care about it. And I wish that everyone could know all the intricacies. There is so much involved in the um, <coughs> safety uh, procedures and the costs of that very important safety. But the, the one point I did want to make when the person was talking about charging admission, um, that is not a new idea, of course. Um, it is illegal to charge admission to a public place, obviously. I and mean, that people need to understand that. But we are, we cleverly have worked around that and developed a welcome center system that asks everyone to make a $5 contribution, every adult. And that very successful prototype program generated $17,000 last year. So yes, the goal is for the welcome centers to keep going up so that every person who comes, if 50,000 adults come, then that would, that would take care of the festival, the $5. It's you know, right up there. Um, all of those sources of revenue are developed and considered and worked on, and we're always very receptive to new ideas. But all of that notwithstanding, the attention, the positive, wholesome, constructive, wonderful attention that King Pumpkin Festival brings to this town really does attract businesses. We know that, we've heard that. It attracts citizens, that people move here after they hear about what an incredibly cool town, what an incredibly industrious and creative, and hardworking and tenacious town to do something for 24 years that no one else would dare do for one. So I just, I just want to um, say there's a lot of information. I'd love to have everybody know as much about it as, um, and I'd love to share all the information about it, and I'd love to keep people as passionate and caring about this thing. And we together, we could get it right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, are there any further comments?